literally have to get liquor in my system before I could have fun. Because if I don't have liquor in my system, girl, a bitch can't party. I am the most awkward bitch you would ever see in a motherfucking nightclub. He basically told me that when I get there, I should, you know, let him know, you know, I should text him and whatever, because he's also going to buy me a drink. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, girl. Still did not think much of it. You know, it was just whatever to me. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Without further ado, make sure you follow me at underscore Prince on Instagram and make sure you add me on Snapchat at Princham7895. So now today we're back with another story time and today I'm gonna basically tell you guys about how my manager kissed me in front of my friends. But without further ado, let's get into this story time. But before we get into the story time, I just want to quickly, quickly say I am so sorry um, for not uploading. Uh, well, I didn't tell y'all specifically when I was going to upload this story time. Uh, but I just want to quickly say I'm so sorry for being this late with all the uploads. A bitch been really, 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 really busy. A bitch been working. Um, you know, I've been going on multiple dates. I've been going out with friends. I've been just busy overall. And you know, if y'all know, um, my cousin is currently visiting. So like, I had to like, you know, take her out and stuff like that. So we've been doing a lot. So that's why the content has been like slow as fuck. And y'all are not really getting the videos how I normally, you know, will post or whatever. And I just want to say that more content is on the way and they're coming out. Just be patient with me. Uh, a lot is on my plate. A lot is going on and a lot of exciting stuff is happening. I just want y'all to know, you know, keep up with a bitch. Just like give me some time to like slowly push these content out because I have so much planned and so much in store for y'all. But I promise y'all, y'all will enjoy what I am about to start posting i promise you but yeah so first of all this story time was taking place back in 2023 so back in 2023 you know last year i was working at my old job you know that job with demarcus if y'all know y'all know okay but also if you want to catch up and know what um you know who demarcus is I will say quickly run over to um the story time that I basically told y'all that you know I basically you know sucked my coworkers you know ding dong. You can run over to that story time, watch that story time, and watch part two to that story time or part three. I don't remember how many parts I put for that story time, but I think it's one and two parts to that story time. So you could quickly run over to those videos, watch those videos, and then come back to this story time in order to understand where I'm coming from with this whole situation, girl. But yes, yeah, so this story time basically had taken place like right after, you know, that situation had happened between me and Demarcus, okay? So honestly, when I first started working at this job, this manager was not there. He was not working there. He later on then, you know, applied to the job, you know, got interviewed, and then he got hired. Now, when he got hired, he did not apply for a manager's position. He applied for like a regular cook position. But as time went by, you know, he eventually wanted like an upgrade, which is a leadership position. And that's what ended up happening. Now, fast forward, he then eventually got the manager's position and, you know, boom, 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 boom. Now, at first with this manager, he never gave me, oh, he wanted to do anything with me type of vibe. He never gave me gay vibe. He never gave me DL vibe. Like, no form of vibe that y'all may know of. This man did not give me any type of vibe whatsoever. Okay, girl? So, with this whole situation, the way how this whole situation happened, um, it kind of caught me off guard because I really was not expecting for this situation to ever be a thing between me and this manager. With this manager, I had zero attraction to this manager. He was not my type, period, point blank. So the closest description that I could give y'all with this manager, he was very much given rock star vibe. He had a eyebrow piercing. Um, he 
Honestly, like he looked like that character from Phineas and Ferb. He's white. He's like a little bit taller than me. I'm assuming he's like 5'10, maybe 5'11, somewhere along there. Um, he's a very chubby built guy, but he's not fat, but he's not slim either. So as time went by, you know, me and this manager, you know, eventually after he fully got the position or whatever, you know, things was cool between me and him. We vibe, we talk, you know, we did a lot of closing together. And, you know, it was always a vibe. Now, as time went by, you know, eventually, slowly but surely, you know, we got like a close net type of work relationship where he starts to like, you know, tell me a little bit more about like his life in general. And I remember this one time he did in fact brought up this whole conversation in which he told me about his, you know, his ex-girlfriend and how like she's just, you know, the worst thing that ever happened to him and how he used to be on drugs and stuff and he also told me that she was the one that introduced him to using drugs and he's been using drugs for a long a long 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 fucking time okay girl so yeah so eventually he told me that you know both of them has recently split because you know he just didn't want to live that life anymore even though the guy is he's still using I Now fast forward girls, so this particular day, I remember that, you know, my boss boss, uh, she came and normally before a shift, we will have like a pre-shift where we talk about, you know, what's the plan to basically get us through the whole shift and whatever. So we were having one of those and later on down in the meeting, my boss literally brought up that we were going to have like a staff party and at a specific night she basically told us a night or whatever so like if we're free we could come and she's gonna basically make sure that we close early so we all could you know attend this event now my boss did in fact told me that if i have friends and stuff i could bring my friends and you know of course i wasn't gonna go to no staff party without my friends i need my friends there because at this point, yeah, even though I spoke with everyone, like I wasn't that close with everyone that I worked with. So I really wanted my partying buddies with me, which is my friends. So I want my friends out with me. I want to party with my friends. I don't really give a fuck to like, you know, party with coworkers. I just want to party with my friends. So fast forward, you know, as time went by, it then slowly switched to the time when it was, you know, around the party. Now, as y'all know, as per usual, you know, I got dolled up, bitch. I got dolled up. I believe I was wearing like, I was wearing like a sweatsuit, but it was black and white. So my shoes, I was wearing my black heels, my white uh, sweatpants with my black sparkling, um, you know, sweater top. Um, I think I was wearing, so the face was beat, you know, the outfit was together, you know, with my black um, you know, hooded vest over everything. And I was just looking like that girl, that it bitch. Okay, girl? So a bitch was looking good. One of my friends, in fact, came over. And, you know, me and her was, you know, getting ready and boom, 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 and whatever, girl. So after we got done getting ready or whatever, the plan was my boss already told all of us to, like, meet her at, you know, the works location or whatever. And that's where the, you know, the van or the limo or whatever is coming to, like, pick us up from to basically take us to the destination. So me and this friend was basically gonna leave and meet everybody else at, you know, the workplace location. So after me and this friend, you know, got ready or whatever, uh, we were on our way out to basically meet our other friends, which was gonna pull up like at my workplace location or whatever. So when we got to my workplace, you know, we walked in, um, you know, I was still on my phone trying to text to see where everybody else was at because at this point in time, me and this friend was there super early. So I was on my phone, you know, texting everyone, calling to see if everyone was on their way because my boss specifically told us that after everyone gathered at that location, then the, you know, the transportation is basically going to come at a specific time. So we should all make sure that we're there. So that was basically what I was doing and whatever, girl. So during this whole time too, 
I also forgot to mention that me and this manager was texting because we basically had each other's numbers at this point and we also added each other on Snapchat in this time third. Okay, girl? So he had my Snapchat at this point. I had his Snapchat. You know, we talk on a regular, like we will just talk about the people who we work with or whatever. So we also had that type of bond and whatever, girl. So during this whole time, before I even got to my workplace destination, during this whole time or whatever, I was texting my manager and he was telling me that, you know, he was already at my workplace or whatever. And he was just, you know, at the bar or whatever. And he was also with another manager that was there at the time. They both was at the bar drinking. And, you know, he basically told me that when I get there, I should, you know, let him know, you know, I should text him and whatever, because he's also going to buy me a drink. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, girl. Still did not think much of it. You know, it was just whatever to me. Because again, like we had that type of relationship where like i said we talk every day well we don't talk every day but we will talk here and there um outside of work and you know it was just a friendship vibe on my end <laughs> So I was on the phone basically, you know, chatting to them, you know, texting, you know, my friend was also on her phone too. She was texting, you know, who she was texting. I was texting who I was supposed to text and, you know, this, that, and third. We were just trying to see where everybody else was at. So we basically ended up telling everyone that we were just going to, you know, go inside, go sit down, probably start, you know, having a few drinks because with me, girl, like my friends already know, I can't party if I'm not fucked up. Like, I literally have to get liquor in my system before I can have fun. Because if I don't have liquor in my system, girl, a bitch can't party. I am the most awkward bitch you would ever see in a motherfucking nightclub. Like, I cannot party if I don't have alcohol in me. And like I said in multiple, uh, you know, story times, that I have anxieties. Like, I get, you know, two in my head and I start to overthink a lot of shit. So if... I don't have alcohol in me, I cannot be free, okay, girl? Yeah, so my friends already know that, you know, I had to, you know, take a couple shots to, like, you know, calm my nerves or whatever. And during this time, too, it was the first time ever my co-workers was gonna see me wearing makeup, too. So I was also anxious about that. So I was like, the moment I get to my workplace, I just need to, like, you know take a couple shots because my co-workers have never seen me dressed up we ended up walking into you know the building or whatever we walked up to the bar so we walked up to the bar sat down and we basically started talking to each other now during this whole time while i was talking with my friend we both were still on our phones trying to you know still keep in contact with our other friends that was about to show up now during this whole time while we were sitting there I remembered, you know, my manager messaging me and he was like, hey, like, where are you at? Like, I've been sitting at the bar for da 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 minutes and you're still not here and this that, and third. So I ended up messaging him back and I basically told him that, you know, I've been at the bar. I just haven't said that I was sitting here because again, like, I need a couple of drinks in me. I did not explain all this to him. But again, I need a couple of drinks in me so I could like calm my nerves. So I basically told him that, you know, I already arrived at the location i'm at the bar or whatever and turns out he was already like i said he was already at the bar but like for some reason i did not notice that him and my other manager was sitting at the bar so when me and my friend walked up to the bar or whatever and we sat down we were on the opposite side from where he was at so he was like over here and me and my friend were over here but the thing was the reason why we couldn't see each other there's this tall uh liquor thing in the middle like it had all these Girl, it's, it's a lot to explain. But like, you know, there's this tall wall where all the liquors are like, you know, connected or whatever, where they could like pour drinks from different uh, tabs or whatever. That was basically in the way, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so that was basically in the middle of, you know, us basically for us to see each other or whatever. So after I told him that, you know, I already like, you know, arrived and stuff and boom, 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 like, you know, boom, 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 boom. So as we were sitting there, you know, he messaged me and he was like, how are you already here and you didn't say anything to me? I told you I'm going to get you a drink and this and that or whatever, whatever, girl. So, you know, he basically told me that, you know, I should come over to where he's at. So after all that, girl, 
eventually, you know, he kind of like got up and he peeped over. He saw us. Uh, we basically waved. And, you know, he waved and he told us to like, you know, he went like this. Basically telling us to come over to where he was sitting at. So fast forward, girl. So after, you know, we eventually got up. We slowly walked over to the side where my, you know, my manager was at. He basically told me to sit beside him. So me and my friend sat beside him or whatever. And um, my other manager at the time basically looked at me and he was like, whoa. And, you know, I started smiling and I was like, well, why did you just say whoa? And he was like, you look good. And, you know, I started chuckling a little bit and then I was like, yeah, I know. And he was like, whoa, sorry. Like, you know, you can't take a compliment. <laughs> He was, girl, I'm an Aquarius. Leave me alone. Okay, girl. So he was like, yeah, I forgot that you can take a compliment or whatever. And I was like, I can take a compliment, but thank you. And he started laughing or whatever. So my manager that was going to, you know, buy me a drink or whatever, he then looked at me and he was like, you look really good. And I was like, thank you. And then, you know, he looks over at my friend and he's like, who's your friend? So I basically introduced them both. And, you know, she said her name. He said his name and whatever. And fast forward like a couple shots in after, you know, at this point, he's already like, you know, buying us drinks because, of course, if you're buying for me, you're going to buy for my friends. I don't give a fuck. So, yeah. So, um, because it's the same way. If, if my friend is getting a shot from a guy, like, she's making sure that everybody gets two. So, that's just how we roll. So, I wasn't going to just sit there and just have a drink without my friend drinking, too. So, yeah, girl. And either way, if he doesn't want to share, I will share with my friend. Like, it. Yeah. So, you know, he bought us drinks or whatever. And, you know, we were all talking, laughing or whatever. And then my other manager that was, like, you know, drinking with this manager... Uh, he ended up getting up because, you know, he got a phone call. Basically, his girlfriend, because, yeah, he did, you know, have a girlfriend or whatever. So, his girlfriend called and basically told him that she's outside. She's like, you know, da-da-da. He basically, you know, went about his ways to basically probably get her, whatever the case might be. He just got up. So, <laughs> as we were still there talking or whatever, you know, we were, you know, mixing and mingling. He was buying us a couple of drinks. At one point, I was like, okay, girl, I am zoning the fuck out. Because honestly, like everybody knows by now, a bitch is a lightweight. I'm a lightweight. One drinks could like get me out of it, like in a split second. And from the first shots that I've been taking, like a bitch already been traveling, okay, girl? So um, as we were still there talking or whatever, you know, we were, you know, mixing and mingling. He was buying us a couple of drinks. At one point, I was like, okay, girl, I am zoning the fuck out. Because honestly, like everybody knows by now, a bitch is a lightweight. I'm a lightweight. One drinks could like get me out of it, like in a split second. And from the first shots that I've been taking, like a bitch already been traveling, okay, girl? Like during this whole time, my friend that was with me, she kept, you know, making sure that a bitch, you know, drink water because she's known for that. Like she always be giving me water even when I don't want the water. Like she would literally give me water. Like let's say if I had like three shots at this point and it's like, and the club doesn't close until like two, um, you know, a.m. or whatever. This bitch is already giving me water at like, let's say 10 o'clock, 11. And like, this is the stuff that like pisses me off sometime with her because the girl, like I get, you know, I get that she want us to like, you know, drink water. And I'm saying us as in me and my other friends and stuff like the friend group or whatever. I get that she's like, you know, looking out for us and stuff. But like, sometimes it'd be way too early for her to like give us water. And I'm just like, girl, if you give me this water, I'm going to start sobering up real fast. So even though yeah, I get drunk really, really fast, I also sober up really, really fast. So like, girl, if you give me this water, I'm going to sober up and then I'm going to be all paranoid again. So the times when she would like, you know, offer me water or give me water, I'd be having to tell her like, girl, it's too early for you to give me this water right now. I don't want this water right now. Like give me like later on when it's coming close to the time for us to like, you know, leave the club or whatever.